Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. The rifle category here in Warzone is becoming a lot more competitive after some of the recent meta updates. And so with that today, I wanted to break down the top five best assault rifle loadouts you want to be using right now. And we're starting first with one you might not realize is that good, but it's the STB 556 from Modern Warfare 2. This thing's only real drawback is its magazine capacity because other than that, it is low recoil and actually has a ridiculously competitive TTK over the mid to long range. Up there with some of the other best options that we're gonna be talking about in this video. So don't be sleeping on the STB 556. This thing is actually very, very good. So initially here, I am using the 2.5 times Eagle Eye. You're gonna see this on the majority of the setups here today. This is my choice for mid to long range optics. It's super clean, super accurate. If there is one that you like more than this though, always 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 go for comfortability there so just keep that in mind now as mentioned magazine capacity is a problem here 42 rounds is the max and it's got a decent fire rate so you are running out of ammo its damage per mag is not phenomenal despite the ttk being great and that's why this is at number five as opposed to you know number three or number two right but 42 is sufficient you can make it work it just takes some time to get used to that rune heavy support under barrel of course hurts your uh vertical a tad bit and your ads but you're getting better gun kicks so less visual recoil and better horizontal control which makes the pattern more predictable and that's really clutch in the long run i've got the rear guard barrel this just helps out with velocity and range it's already super low recoil so no control benefit here is not really a huge deal plus we're using the spirit fire suppressor which is even better control better velocity better range so it's helping out there with that three in one combo like i said this thing is a slept on gun not many people are looking at this as a top choice but it's actually surprisingly good another weapon i feel like people might be sleeping on some is the chimera in terms of rifles for the close to mid range really there's no better option than this this thing's got a ridiculously fast ttk in its first damage range so it's more so of like a sniper support style assault rifle build this honestly is a go-to for sure so initially here for some close to mid-range i do like the elo sight the mk3 reflector if you like a night armor or a slate or even if you want to go for a 2.5 you absolutely could use that instead there are certainly plenty of options for that the 45 round mag is also the max here the fire rate's not too crazy so this is sufficient for sure even in like trios and quads it'll get the job done just fine i do use the angled under barrel in this case it's got similar pros to the bruin heavy support it's not going to do as much for your gun kick but it's still helping out with horizontal which is super important and it's not actually hurting your ads speed it's only hurting your vertical control so good payoffs for very minimal cons with that one i've also got the vorpal barrel on here helps out with the range and then also your general movement speed just a tad bit so it makes it a little bit more aggressive and then lastly you got some options here for your uh you know suppressors or your compensators shadow strike if you're comfortable with the control works fine it's not going to slow you down obviously anymore so it still stays aggressive and it just keeps you off the radar spirit fire obviously is always great for that three in one combo if you're okay with a slower ads it's a 20 percent decrease though and that's not super great for a close to mid-range gun but if you're okay with a slower ads you could also go all the way in on the jack bfb it's a 10 percent decrease to your ads but it's giving you crazy control so you could be super super accurate with that if you were interested in that too so you certainly got options there just depends on your level of comfortability with the gun either way this thing's gonna be really good as we get into the top three here quick reminder if you're new to the channel or you simply haven't subscribed yet every single day i'm your one-stop shop for news updates patch notes meta breakdowns and all the best loadouts so if you want to stay up to date with that stuff be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications and if you enjoyed this video if you find it helpful do me a favor and drop a like it really does help the channel grow but at number three here, taking home that bronze medal, I've got the Holger 556. They did actually just buff this close range option, like the close range damage is a little bit better, but obviously it's really meant for mid to long range where again, it's limited in magazine capacity, but it's also arguably the easiest gun to use in the game. This thing is so low recoil. So even though you only have 40 rounds, you're still gonna be a laser beam with this thing. And it's got a really competitive TTK, especially within the category itself. So again, I've got the 2.5 times Eagle Eye, the 40 round mag, as I I mentioned is the max which is just a bummer in general but you can make do with it for sure brewing heavy support here no surprises i've also got the spirit fire suppressor yet again but once more if you're okay with the uh you know loudness showing up on the map as that advanced uav ping and the slight slowdown to your mobility jack bfb is always an option these days for sure and then lastly i do go for the cryos six match barrel this is that three in one range velocity and control yet again so just increasing that efficiency in the mid to long range where we're going to be using this the most but as a rifle this thing's pretty versatile it's pretty aggressive even built like this can definitely get the job done in a variety of ways hey everyone while we're on the topic of loadouts obviously your in-game loadout matters you want to be using the best of the best 
So why not apply that to real life as well? That's right, set yourself up for success by picking up a pair of Gamer Advantage glasses. I wear mine daily and ever since I started doing that, I noticed I'm getting better sleep, feeling rejuvenated and fresh every single day. And that allows me to be more productive and create better content for you all. So whether you're gaming, doing work, school, or just looking at screens for long periods of time, Gamer Advantage should be a part of your day-to-day -day loadout too. And if you want to pick up a pair for yourself, throw in code IMMORTAL at checkout and it'll get you a nice little discount. The link for that will be down in the description below. Now number two, I've got the SVA. This is one that I've been using a lot lately. I love the feel of this thing. It's so easy, such a low skill gap. Really anyone can pick this thing up and do well with it. And I also like that it's extremely versatile as well. You could use it in full auto where it's going to beam. You could use it in semi-auto and hyper burst mode where it's also going to beam. So initially again, 2.5 times eagle eye optic. I've got the 60 round mag here. You'll want to use this regardless of what fire mode you're using. That's always pretty clutch to have the max extended mag there. There. I've got the precision heavy barrel. You guessed it. It's that three in one yet again, range, velocity and control, increasing that efficiency where we're using it the most spirit fire suppressor. But as an option, Jack BFB is a great alternative too, if you don't need the suppressor on there. And then lastly, for the full auto version of this build, I've got the Bruin heavy support again, just horizontal control, making it a lot more predictable. That said, if you're using this in semi auto or hyper burst mode, there's really not that much recoil. So you could drop the under barrel here, throw on a mobility based stock, throw on a laser for a better ADS speed really increase its aggressiveness there if you wanted to just depends on where you're more comfortable using the gun for me it's so good in full auto as is that i don't really feel a need to use hyper burst but there are players out there that love that aspect of it and if that's you go for it by all means it's really good there too so you got plenty of options of how you want to approach using this all of them are very, very good. And then of course, coming in at number one, no surprise here, it's the Ram. One of my favorite guns in the game right now. In terms of TTK, it's basically best in class at all ranges. It's extremely versatile. This build in particular is so much fun to use in my opinion. It's an iron sight based build that is an absolute laser, even without going 100% in on recoil control. I do use the 3.4 pad stock, helps out with general control and gun kick for very minimal cons in terms of mobility. That's clutch there. Iron sights, so we can and go all in on the 60 round drum as well you'll want that it is a faster fire rate so that's obviously super convenient ruin heavy support yet again the core mark 40 heavy barrel three in one range velocity and control and then once more spirit fire suppressor pretty copy and paste here but if you did want to go all in on control Jack BFB is going to make this thing utterly unreal. And like, if you're more so playing this as like a mid-range sort of sniper support style build, which you could do very easily, this is going to be really good there. You're not going to miss shots just straight up. And quite frankly, I find this to be super easy as is. So even Spirit Fire with much less control benefits is still just as good. You know, uh, it just depends on what you're trying to aim for there. Max control or decent control, decent range, decent velocity. No wrong answers in all honesty, because this thing is just that good of a gun. But that being said, those are the top five best rifle loadouts in Warzone right now. And that's going to wrap things up. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it as always. And of course, if you're new here, you want to guarantee that on a day to day basis, you always have the need to know details. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. I will catch you later. Peace out.